Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano, is located on the east coast of Sicily, near Catania. Renowned for its frequent eruptions and dramatic displays of lava and ash, Etna has both fascinated and concerned local residents and global observers for centuries. In April 2025, the volcano erupted with significant intensity, disrupting air traffic and blanketing the region in volcanic ash. Powerful Strombolian explosions and intense seismic activity at the southeast crater remind us that Etna is far from quiet. This video explores the latest eruption and its impact across Italy. A Fiery Awakening, April 8, 2025 Mount Etna roared to life yet again in early April 2025, marking another chapter in its long history of eruptions. The dramatic episode began on the night of April 7th, when seismic monitoring stations first picked up increasing tremor amplitudes beneath the volcano's southeast crater. By 10.50 p.m. UTC, the volcanic tremor had reached high levels, suggesting the buildup of magma and gas pressure beneath the surface. Infrasonic activity, which refers to low-frequency sound waves produced by explosive volcanic activity, intensified shortly afterward, all but confirming that an eruption was imminent. By the early hours of April 8th, lava fountains and thick ash clouds were visible, signaling a full-blown Strombolian eruption, characterized by the intermittent explosion of gas bubbles within the magma. This eruption, while not unexpected, was notably intense. Observers on the ground and through thermal surveillance cameras recorded two active vents at the southeast crater, one lower than the main opening. These vents released steady flows of molten lava and ejected volcanic ash several kilometers into the sky. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, promptly raised the aviation color code to red, warning all aircraft to avoid the area due to poor visibility and hazardous ash clouds. Though the alert was later downgraded as the activity waned, the disruption to local aviation and the threat posed to nearby communities made it clear that Etna was in one of its more dangerous moods. Ash and Aviation – Impact Beyond the Crater The ash emissions from the April 8th eruption were nothing short of staggering. Volcanic clouds were estimated to reach heights of 5.5 kilometers, over 3.4 miles, above the summit. These ash plumes spread southeast, posing a significant threat to air traffic. The European Aviation Network responded quickly, activating protocols to divert or delay flights in and out of eastern Sicily. This eruption wasn't just a show for the cameras, it had real-world consequences. Volcanic ash is not just smoke and dust. It contains tiny abrasive particles of rock and glass that can severely damage aircraft engines and instruments. That's why the red alert issued by the INGV was taken so seriously. It's not just about avoiding visibility problems. It's about protecting lives. Airports in Catania and nearby areas experienced delays and authorities issued advisories for local residents to avoid outdoor activities and use masks to prevent inhalation of fine ash particles. Emergency services remained on standby, especially in mountain villages like Nicolosi, which often find themselves at the mercy of Etna's volatile temperament. The Anatomy of an Eruption – What Scientists Observed the April eruption followed a series of escalating signs that volcanologists had been watching closely. As early as February 2025, Mount Etna began showing signs of renewed activity. After a relatively quiet period since November 2024, the volcano entered a new eruptive phase on February 6th with minor Strombolian explosions from the southeast crater. The situation began to evolve rapidly in early February, with seismic instruments detecting increased tremor amplitudes at depths ranging from 2,800 to 3,000 meters above sea level. An effusive phase followed, with lava emerging from a fissure at the Bacca Nuova crater advancing southward. By February 11th, the lava flow had stretched more than 2.6 kilometers in length. The most recent April eruption was preceded by this steady uptick in activity, which culminated in explosive bursts observed shortly after midnight on April 8th. Despite the eruption's visual spectacle, 
scientists were relieved to report that ground deformation measurements, such as those from tilt meters and GNSS networks, showed no significant changes. That suggested the magma reservoir hadn't drastically shifted, lessening the likelihood of a catastrophic flank eruption, which could have far more destructive consequences. Etna's Volcanic Legacy – A History of Fire and Fury Mount Etna has been erupting for over 2,500 years, and it holds a unique place among the world's volcanoes. Rising to an elevation of 3,357 meters, it dominates the Sicilian landscape and exerts a strong influence over the region's ecology, economy, and culture. It is classified as a stratovolcano, known for its layered structure and alternating explosive and effusive eruptions. One of Etna's most dramatic features is the Valle del Bove, a massive horseshoe-shaped caldera on its eastern flank. It functions like a natural basin, collecting lava flows and reducing the risk of lava reaching populated areas. Nevertheless, history has shown that Etna's lava has repeatedly threatened towns and cities. Some flows have even reached the Ionian Sea, especially on the southeastern flank. Documented eruptions stretch back to 1500 BCE, but modern instrumentation has only recently allowed scientists to study Etna in real time. That's important because unlike other volcanoes that erupt once and go quiet for years, Etna is almost always doing something. Whether it's venting gases, rumbling with low-level tremors, or erupting dramatically, it demands constant observation. Life Beneath the Volcano, Communities on Edge While Mount Etna fascinates scientists and draws thousands of tourists, it's also a daily reality for people who live in its shadow. Towns like Nicolosi, Zafirana Etnea, and Catania sit within reach of the volcano's slopes and have developed sophisticated systems for living with this unpredictable neighbor. When the April 8th eruption occurred, local authorities immediately enacted emergency protocols. Roads leading to higher elevations were closed, evacuation plans were reviewed, and emergency personnel were placed on alert. Schools delayed opening times, and the public was advised to remain indoors as ash blanketed cars, streets, and rooftops. Despite the risks, many locals see Etna as part of their identity. They've learned to live with its moods, building homes with sloped roofs to shed ash, and reinforcing windows to handle tremors. Over time, the fertile volcanic soil has even become an economic asset, supporting vineyards, orchards, and farms that thrive in the mineral-rich earth. Yet every eruption is a reminder that nature, however beautiful, can also be merciless. The recent activity has renewed debates about disaster preparedness, infrastructure resilience, and the psychological toll of living near an active volcano. Rumbling Warnings, Monitoring the Beast in Real Time Mount Etna's April 2025 eruption didn't come without warning. Scientists had been closely tracking subtle but telling signals in the days leading up to the blast. The volcano is equipped with one of the most advanced monitoring systems in Europe, a crucial necessity given its persistent activity. This includes a network of seismometers, thermal cameras, GNSS sensors, and infrasound detectors that relay data around the clock to the Etna Volcano Observatory, run by the INGV. In the case of the April eruption, the first significant sign was an increase in volcanic tremor amplitude observed at 1830 UTC on April 7th. This kind of seismic signal typically points to the upward movement of magma. As the tremor levels climbed steadily through the night, researchers pinpointed the source at approximately 2.9 kilometers above sea level, just beneath the southeast crater. This coincided with an uptick in infrasound activity beginning at 2300 UTC, another red flag that gas and magma pressures were building. What made this particular episode notable was the lack of substantial ground deformation, which is usually associated with magma chamber inflation. GNSS and tilt meters showed stable readings, suggesting the activity was confined to shallower layers without triggering structural shifts. That made it harder to predict the eruption scope, but also helped confirm that the event wouldn't likely evolve 
into a large-scale flank eruption. Still, scientists moved quickly to update aviation alerts and inform civil defense authorities. Thanks to real-time data and fast response protocols, the community received timely warnings, minimizing risk. The episode highlighted not only Etna's unpredictability, but also the critical role of constant observation. As dramatic as the eruption looked from a distance, it was the silent signals detected deep within the Earth that told the story first. A Pattern of Unrest – Etna's Recent Eruption Cycles The April 2025 eruption is the latest in a series of increasingly frequent and dynamic events that have defined Mount Etna's behavior over the past year. While the volcano has always maintained a level of background activity, the past several months have seen a noticeable uptick in both explosive and effusive events. One of the more significant recent eruptions occurred in November 2024 when a series of lava fountains and sustained ash plumes forced widespread flight cancellations and sent dense clouds over eastern Sicily. Following that eruption, Etna entered a quieter phase characterized by low-level degassing and sporadic emissions. However, this calm began to shift in early February 2025. A new eruptive cycle was observed starting on February 6, marked by minor strombolian bursts and a lava flow emerging from a fissure at the base of the Bacca Nuova crater. That effusive phase continued for several days, with lava advancing steadily toward Mount Frumento Supino. By February 11, the lava front had stretched over 2.6 kilometers. This buildup of pressure and periodic release aligns with a recognizable eruption pattern that volcanologists have come to associate with Etna's southeast crater. It typically begins with weak emissions and low seismicity, followed by a steady rise in tremor amplitude and surface activity, and culminates in short-lived but powerful eruptions. What makes this pattern particularly challenging is its variability. Some cycles end quickly, while others evolve into extended episodes with widespread impacts. These recurring cycles have prompted scientists to revise their models of Etna's internal plumbing, focusing more on the interactions between shallow magma chambers and deeper reservoirs. With each event, new data points are added, allowing researchers to better anticipate future activity. Still, the April eruption reinforced a sobering truth. Even with sophisticated tools and historical precedent, Etna's full behavior remains unpredictable. Its recent cycles show no sign of slowing down, making continued vigilance essential. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever visited Mount Etna or experienced an active volcano up close? What do you think it would be like to live in a region where eruptions are just another part of life? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.